What's going on guys, this is Evan the Xenogears Enthusiast here, bringing you my usual gameplay commentary for Headquarters Pro Hardhat. This is part of the LMG strategy video, um, using the PKP, and I cannot pronounce the second half of that weapon's name. Uh, jumping right into it, as usual, the perk setup for all my LMGs is Blind Eye Pro, Quick Draw Pro, and Stalker Pro. Now quickly elaborate on those three choices. Um, blind eyes because LMGs are well suited to carry secondary weapons and LMGs are well suited to shooting down UAVs and other small aircraft and they run really slow so if like a helicopter you know kinda puts a beat on you there's no way you're gonna be able to run away from it and get indoors or anything as a rule so blind eye is well suited and because I don't think anything in the first perk slot really uh, benefits assault rifle or excuse me LMGs that much like extreme conditioning is not really that great um, just, you know, in synopsis, I think Blind Eye is the obvious choice. Second perk is Quick Draw because all LMGs have an extremely slow raise time. So, Quick Draw makes up for the, natu the weapon's natural weaknesses. So, if you're going to run an LMG, um, you really only have two options to me. I mean, excluding Overkill and just carrying a second weapon. But, you can run Assassin and try to stick to the corners with your LMGs and, you know, try to stay off the radar and stuff like that. But... I'm really not that impressed with that setup. I've done it before so to try it out, and I don't like it. Assassin's powerful enough to go with anything, as is Quick Draw. But I, I think that Quick Draw really fills in where the weapon lacks, which is the aim down sight speed, because LMGs typically have a really weak hip fire, even with steady aim. Uh, you got a lot of bolts to spray around, but they just they don't kill really fast. And the reason I like Stalker Pro um, on my LMGs is because the run walk speed is so slow, so when you get into those close range dogfighting situations, having the ability to actually get around is really important. So, you know, like, maneuver around and dodge shots and get into cover while still shooting back. Stalker's a great fit for any weapon, but on the LMG, once again, you're filling in the gaps in the weapon. Now, Quick Draw and Stalker kind of take away from each other in that, you know, they're both you know, they're both about aim down sight speed, but you might as well maximize your perks or Well, rather... <sighs> okay. <laughs> so let me digress here. LMGs are not a good choice in Call of Duty games, particularly not in Modern Warfare 3. I mean, I'm sure there's some LMG fans that'll dispute that. I'm a big LMG fan, but you really are disadvantaged compared to other weapon types. You really don't do as much damage as compared to some of the better assault rifles. Um, your ADS speed is way slower, and your run walk speed sucks. The only really advantage is it gives you a big clip and a lot of ammo. Now, in past Call of Duty games, you actually had um, the advantage of no bullet drop off, no damage drop off rather, so at any distance your bullets did the same damage instead of like declining at range. That's no longer true. In Modern Warfare 3, LMGs do have a bullet drop off in their damage, which is stupid. So the PKP, for example, kills in. I think it's. three or four bullets up close. Uh, hold on, let me check. Okay, yeah, the PKP kills in three bullets up close and four bullets far, um, but it has a. It's you know, compared to the L86. The L86 is three bullets close again and five bullets far. Um, so really, when you compare the L86 to the PKB, they're very similar. I think they both have kind of a lousy iron sight, personally. So they both sort of benefit from the red dot. Some people like that. It's kind of like an I like the RPDs iron. That's kind of like the RPDs, but I don't find the the less round sight doesn't help me as much. Anyway, the point is. Pretty much the L86 is your better close range LMG, and the PKP is your better long range LMG. And they, you know, it's a toss off for which one you like more. I prefer the L86 because, you know, if I'm at range, that's sort of the LMG's strongest asset, if it has any, is long range, because I can just lay down a wall of bullets and probably get a guy or force him to fall back. So I need things that make up for my weapons. Uh, weakness is close range, hence the use of quick draw and stalker, and. The L86 would probably be a superior choice, but if you're going to use the PKP, it ranks very low on the LMG chart on, you know, up-close kills, so if you use the PKP, it's absolutely essential you stay long range. It's just really as simple as that. I mean, with LMGs in general, you want to stay at a distance, but this one in particular, you got to stay long range. you got a low ADS speed anyway. You should probably be walking ADS most of the time. So you got a lot of limitation to watch out for when you're using... Um, the PKP. I'm just talking about all the weapons negatives. On the upsides, uh, it has a long reload too. <laughs> Frankly, there's just not a lot of good reasons to use the PKP compared to the L86. Uh, you do you do kill one less bullet, four bullets at long range, which is which is nice. So pretty much only use this if you want to do like a long shot machine. I've tried some different combinations of attachments. I think the grip is a given. 
because uh, accuracy really you can't go wrong with accuracy on any weapon and having a grip and not using it probably a poor choice so I like to grip my PKP uh, I, with attachments attachments is probably the best weapon perk for most LMGs because you want to have the grip in something else typically so attachments lets you rock that because the grip will help you more than like uh, kick now I didn't have two attachments at the time of this video which is sort of unfortunate I probably would have put a dot on this but anyway that's not what I had. Uh, trophy system, which is a new attachment I unlocked recently. I think trophy system belongs on all LMGs because quick draw sort of prevents you from using blast shield, and trophy system is basically a really good blast shield. For those of you that haven't unlocked or aren't familiar with it, trophy system intercepts two nades that are coming at you, and because you run so slow with LMGs, nades are like a natural threat to you. So, with that said, I strongly recommend running the trophy wherever you're going to camp, because the LMG is not a rushing weapon, so you should be holding down positions anyway. Uh, for some reason, my bouncing Betty didn't do what I needed to do there, and I got killed. I was kind of disappointed in that, because I remember thinking, like, oh, bouncing Betty, I'm going to be sweet. Didn't, he might have had Stalker or something. I didn't even check the kill cam. <laughs> anyway, yeah, trophy system. Use it. I don't really think you need nades that much on an LMG class. You have plenty of rounds. So try it out. It's actually a lot better than people give it credit for, and it's it's really fun because you know LMGs are well suited to objective game types over like TDM. So if you're gonna play an objective game type, this is the you know, this is the thing. Like lock down a flag, lock down an HQ, whatever you need to do, stick your trophy down, and you're hard to get rid of. You know, with a bouncing Betty or a Claymore, watching a flank as well, it can be hard to uproot you only in that you have you know a tremendous amount of firepower. Now on the flip side. Really, any weapon can lock down a point really well in like a defensive position. The only reason the LMG is nice is because you can stay there a long time without ammo, and you can spray a lot of bullets. So you definitely have a powerful presence wherever you go. That's sort of LMG use in a nutshell. And a little overview of the PKP's damage and how it stacks up the L86, which I think is the most natural comparison of an LMG. Um, now, for hard hat. I feel sort of hesitant to commentate on how to play hard hat because it's very hit or miss for me. I either do really well or not so well. In HQ in general, I'm usually playing against teams of friends, which lowers my overall score. Uh, for those of you that want, I have like a 1.5 KDR on Modern Warfare 3 at the time of this commentary, so clearly not that impressive. But you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. It's it's you know it's going. It's getting better, not worse. Uh, anyway, this isn't a big stat whoring commentary. What we're talking about here is how to play hard hat, and as always, go in rules to maximize your distances. But on hard hat, there's just a lot of obstructions that prevent you from getting really long line of sights. So, like the pathways such as this one, I think are where you want to stay. This is a good spot here because you get to scope into that building, you get to look at the low ground, and you can always turn around and shoot the other direction. The thing about it, I've noticed on Modern Warfare 3 is when you're rocking the LMGs. It's really hard, unless you've got them spawn trapped on domination on one flag, which I advocate. And yes, guys, spawn trapping is playing the objective, so don't even tell me it's not. I'm not trying to call anybody out, but I've had a couple people comment on my videos that, like, you know, you're not playing the objective, and I'm like, you shouldn't run around constantly capping flags. You can, but that's not really the best way to play the objective. Get two flags, keep them, defend the two flags you have. Easy wins, the easiest way to play domination. As you can see, my LMGs just don't drop people that fast. Oh, yeah, he's got the CN. That's that's completely fair weapon. My only thing I rage about right now is getting killed by the Type 95 because, like, Type 95 with rapid fire, I think is completely overpowered. Attachment-wise, LMGs are like limited in that the grip is easily your best choice, and I like a dot just to get precision long shots on people because you're fighting at a distance so much. I prefer the red dot to the holographic, but that's just personal preference. Um. I wouldn't rock Thermal just because of the amount of people running Assassin. Now on the flip side, Thermal is a good fit for LMGs because you have a huge clip to just steady your breath and just keep spraying down the way, but there's just no good reason to use Thermal really, so don't. Uh, unless you're just trying to be cool. Extended mags is more for like lulls than actually use. Like it's really funny to put extended mags on it because you have like an absolutely enormous clip, like 150 or 200 bullets or something absurd like that. There's just no good reason to need that many bullets, so I don't recommend rocking it. I do like that not need, not having a reliance on like a secondary, because as you can see, I get to shoot down air support for days, which helps build your kill streaks now. So that's that's pretty exciting. Kill streaks set up for LMGs. There's nothing in particular that I think benefits them. It's just 
whatever you want to run and whatever you're capable of getting. I run high stuff with my LMGs because I don't move around that much and, you know, it minimizes my BS deaths. So, I recommend the high stuff. Like, I'll post a video probably later today where I show you my uh, my LMG killstreak setup, but in this video I'll just do it word of mouth. I run Reaper, AC-130, and the Osprey. I'm a little unexcited with the Osprey. I'm not going to talk about that in this video. I was going to say I'm not excited with the Osprey. Might do like attack heli instead. Reaper I love, and AC-130 is always great. AC-130 is so hard to shoot down, I love it. <laughs> so anyway, off topic here. Uh, you look at this reload here. This is another big LMG problem that you're all familiar with, is the slow reloads. It doesn't like defeat the weapon's usefulness. It's just another one of those LMG problems. I feel like a lot of things with LMGs are done just to make them feel LMG-ish without any consideration for what actually is good for the LMGs. Like, if you're really strong with the LMG iron sights, rocking the uh, proficiency that lets you move at regular speed, now that's a great proficiency to have on your LMG. That, that allows you to free up probably the slot on Stalker, which is fantastic. But I myself like to put a dot on them, so I use multiple attachments. So, you know, I've, I've talked a lot about this. This is sort of the PKP in a nutshell. Someone was requesting a PKP video. I hope this lives up to your expectations. It's just all the LMGs sort of handle the same, so there's going to be some repeat information. But just keep in mind, compared to the L86, both kill three bullets up close. The L86 puts out less rounds per minute, so... Or, I'm sorry, the PKB puts out less rounds per minute, so it has a really slow kill time up close. You're going to lose to most weapons. SMGs, obviously, which you should lose to, and most of the ARs. Um, the PP PKP, of course, kills one less bullet distance, so if you're really interested in winning your long-distance fights, rock the PKP or the L86, but the L86 is a more, like, universal weapon. Because even if you try to maximize your long-range fights, which I try to do constantly, you're going to run up into a lot of uh, close-range encounters, particularly in Modern Warfare 3, where they thought it would be a really cool design philosophy to make all the maps really small so there's more action. Which, which is great, unless you're using a weapon that doesn't benefit from, you know, small maps. Which is the sniper rifles and the LMGs. Of course, the sniper rifles are still a powerful choice because you can do, like, the quick scoping stuff and you, know, you get guaranteed kills. The LMGs, you just lose your gunfights a lot. Look at that guy UMP me down. That's so embarrassing. But it happens a lot. You know, people long shotting with their SMGs. High rate of fire. I don't think I spoke, I spoke a little bit about hard hat, not that much. Like, your good spots are this one right here, because this gives you... Am I going to get stealth-bombed? <laughs> I actually was uh, two kills away from an MOAD when I got stealth bomber the other day, and it was really upsetting. Anyway, I haven't gotten MOAD yet. Something always kills me. Whatever. You know, it's... When you're playing objective game types, it's important to get lines of sight on objectives, or lines of sight on areas that lead to objectives. This is a good one because it watches, I think it's A or C flag, it watches one of the flags. Ooh, got the little hip fire there. And it lets you see both directions. Like with the LMG, you need to get good at predicting the enemy spawns, and then just turn your LMG to the direction you think they'll be coming. You can't be psychic, and unless you have a nice headset, you can't sound whore. So people are going to sneak up on you when you're just facing the wrong way, no matter how vigilant you are. That's just something you have to accept. Because LMGs don't lend themselves to moving around a whole lot because of the slow speed and the slow ADS and bad close range, like, it's just maybe not the best weapon choice for this game. I still use them, and LMG fans, I encourage you to stick with it. Just, if you're trying to get, like, really good scores, don't hurt yourself and use these weapons unless you get really comfortable with them. Because you'll always do better with what you're comfortable with, even if the weapon isn't so great. <laughs> Couldn't get away with my Predator. I was trying to build a streak off my Predator, but got picked off. Anyway, that's the end of the game. Uh, maximize your long shots on hard hat. Sorry I didn't speak too much of the map, but it's a small map that's self-explanatory. The flat open plans are where you want to stay. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope people find this LMG strategy helpful. And I hope the guy that requested it, I hope this meets your expectations. Alright guys, thanks for watching.